continue with the yo-yo game. He gave me a good opportunity to show you opposition reflex. So I'm going to rub him on the face and just let him know. I'm going to ask him to back up. And I'm going to start just by asking with just the hair on his face. And I actually let go before he told me to let go. Um, because I didn't have to get any louder. And as soon as I got a response, so I'm catching the halter again, not letting him give me that as a response. I'm going to give a soft rub. Ask him to move his foot back. I'm hair. Now I'm skin. Now I'm muscle. He's pushing back. I'm still muscle. I will not release. There. And as soon as he gave me the right answer, what I did was rub, rub it away, and acknowledge that. Okay? So right now, what I have is more opposition reflex than I have try. So I want to get him better at not fighting my rain aids before I even get on. This is him going right brain introvert. So I'm going to call him to me. There we go. <laughs> we had a cleansing moment because honestly, anything we ever did on Phoenix's face from the day he got here, because he was so painful in the mouth, so anti-bridal, and so heavy handed in terms of his prior handling to coming here, it may, makes him feel very um, right brain introvert. That's where he goes. He's not a right brain extrovert. He's a right brain introvert when he feels um, <clears throat> pressure, when he, when he feels pressure coming up. So I'm going to see, and I can't really at this point in time, I can't take my yo-yo game up to the next level of where I'm going to tell him to back up and use my stick and string or my body because I've lost him the second I put my hand on him for a yo-yo game. So if I were to go ahead and start telling him back up, back up and nip him, he, I would startle him and I would actually now create fear instead of understanding. So I'm going to ask him again, back up, good. Back up, good. I let go before he needed to pull away. That's his way of going, eh, don't appreciate what you're doing. I'm gonna do it one more time. Back up, good boy, back up. So see how much better that just got, good boy. And I got actually a lick and chew. So he understood. He understood that fighting and arguing and pushing against me um, <clears throat> was not the appropriate response. And now I have a horse that can actually maybe hear the next part of my yo-yo game. So I'm going to bring him back in. Good boy. All right. And this time we're going to actually ask him to go all the way back to the end of the rope. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. So I have very little try. Okay. This isn't a backup. This is a step away with concern and a, a concern, not even understanding. So I'm going to ask him to come back in. <clears throat> All right. Push him back. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Now I got some ears. Back up. Back up. And I have ears and I have bright eyed and bushy tailed. And I have a horse that's looking and thinking. So I'm going to take the pressure off. And I had some try. So my backup was pretty broken. It's pretty slow. This is very similar to you and Lucky. All right. It's a struggle because they get concerned. Come on back. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Want him to feel right, not wrong. Boy. Um, one of Phoenix's habits was when he would get to feel defensive with people, which is why he got kicked out of the therapeutic program, was that he would bite. He would nibble on people and nip at people. And he does that if he feels defensive. So what I'm doing right now is rubbing his mouth and I want him to release some of that tension because he gets very unconfident and very tense when people work with his face, um, with reins, uh, as well as with um, <clears throat> um, just touching from the ground. So I want him to feel better uh, about not needing to get defensive um, when I touch his face. And 
can when I put pressure on his face. Back up. Good boy. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Here comes the nip. Back up. Back up. He's checking behind to see if he's got clearance to do that. He did it great. I'm putting my tail not between the two of us and letting him know through my body language that I'm relaxed and happy with what he did. And I'm going to see if I can get him to take a breath, lick and chew. And if not, I'll go in and reward him uh, so that he can release. But I'm going to see if I can give him a minute to kind of process and uh, find it himself. If he gets stuck in right brain, which Lucky does sometimes, I'm not going to leave that happen. So he's struggling right now. So I'm going to walk on in and help him with my movement. My movement into his space will help him to come present again. And now I want him to choose to stay present and not get concerned about what I just asked him to do. Because I could jump on him and start demonstrating all sorts of things to you. But his confidence right now is creating stress for him. So I got to chew. That was a grind. That wasn't a lick and chew. So I'm going to go back, help him. Rub him with my nippers even. And then wait for some sign of alertness. Boop. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Try. He's trying to fight going in, and I don't want him to go in, so I'm going to help him. Back up. Switch the left rein back on again. Back up. Back up. And this is the reason why uh, Phoenix and my other horses get into it a lot because he's pretty dominant. He's lot, a lot like Lucky. He's not going to give up um, his uh, space of going, I'll move. He's like, no, you move. So I'm going to bring him back in. This is my rain handling techniques. I'm going to be doing the same exact kind of thing, stroking the reins and being soft when I start riding him. So I'm practicing that from the ground. And now I have to take all the pressure off of him while he's with me because I could see that still facing him is too much for him to handle um, and come out. Boy, back, 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 back. Good job. And pressure off. So it took no stick and string this time. It took body language and a very soft wiggle on that rope. I don't even think the rope came off the ground. I'm not 100% sure. And that was still enough to make him feel un um, uncomfortable and unconfident. So I'm learning. My feedback is I need to be softer and more patient with him so that I could keep him attentive. So I'm going to ask him to watch me move, bring him out of his funk. Good boy. And ask him to go back. 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 
I know there's something directly behind him, deliberately, but I know it's quite a ways away. Back. Good boy. He's going to check and see how close it is to him because he felt it. And I'm going to take the pressure off because he backed up. So that's what your yo-yo game should look like in terms of waiting for the horse to be able to hear you before you turn your volume up, which is why I want you to slow down on some of your requests um, because you're going too quickly through phase one, two, three, four, who? Right there, see? Good boy. Um, and you're not giving your horse a chance to um, confidently solve what you're asking him to do um, on his own and um, he gets too concerned.